Let's now go to Parliament where proponents of the promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill, also known as the Anti-LGBTQ Bill, are fuming over Parliament's inability to take the bill at its consideration stage. The bill seeks to proscribe LGBTQ plus and related activities, propaganda, advocacy for or promotion of LGBTQ and its related activities. The bill will provide for protection and support for children and persons who are victims or accused of LGBT and related activities. Although the bill was suspected to be taken on Wednesday, the House was unable to do so due to the absence of the Chairman of the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, Kwame Nyemedu We engage and our agreement is we end on questions and we continue tomorrow. We have the whole day tomorrow. Yeah, we have a whole day tomorrow for other businesses. This got the NDC MPs furious. This is something that will take us one hour for three weeks. What is the problem of this august house with dealing with this bill which matters to the Ghanaian people? The the moments living, thereafter, the, the NDC today, MPs gathered the press to address them. As the press conference was ongoing, tried to back up the sponsors of the right? bill to Please, be restrained. There is nothing, there not there is nothing we are saying that we can defend. See, you, she's this, one of them. The same lady who went to stand on radio and, and said that she's me, yes. I had taken money from LGBTQ. Let's go. And you said I shouldn't mention her name as a pro LGBTQ person. She's one of them. Continue. She went and sat on the media and said, Me, she knows that I've taken money from LGBTQ people. She's about else. He took her father to come and apologize to me. That's infuriated them. Frustration is that this is not the first time this is happening. It's not the second time. This is the third time the speaker has given such an instruction and it has been disregarded in his absence. We need to understand from the majority side what their issues with the bill are. We need to understand with those who take the chair when the speaker gives the instruction what their opposition to the bill is. We are very well aware of people in leadership on the majority side who are reaching out to sponsors of the bill, asking us to step down the bill. Is that why the majority side is fighting against the bill? The excuse given today that the chairman of the committee is not in the chamber, so we can't take the amendment, is alien to the practice of this house. 